screens. Okay. Thank you for joining us on this chat portion of the webinar. All right. Uh, blessings. All right. Go into your questions. Uh, that's, uh, somebody was there. <laughs> uh, all right. Gundam, any messages from higher self? Uh, this seems like a lot of timeline changing happening. Basically, you're shifting a lot of your frequencies. I feel like you also have a new higher self energy. Feels it's more connected to the Arturians. Uh, yeah, in the past, you've had more of a, well, part of an AI connection in your past, but it feels like, I mean, you've had, you know, spirit beings, of course, but there has been a kind of AI influence. Any messages from the friendly spider ship consciousness? And even that feels like it's an AI connection to a certain degree. Uh, we are showing a lot of um, Android beings. It feels like a lot of the things that you're going through spiritually weren't as an Android being your previous incarnations. Uh, Rachel, I feel like anxious when I think about Metatron. Am I connected to him? Uh, it feels like a love relationship in your past. Uh, when he was a human. This week has been traumatic, violent, and aggressive. Uh, angel, angel assistance was needed to clear this toxic energy and the messages of comfort from Archangel Michael that can be shared. Uh, whatever, whatever had to happen had to happen. It feels like it's over now. And it just seems like um, there was some narcissistic energy from this other people, persons, whoever it was. Uh, it was a major lesson for you for sure, but it feels like it's over for the most part. Uh, but yeah, just rest as you can. Carol, any messages for me? Uh, there's the energy from the angels that you are, of course, following your path. You are blessing others that are around you and you are connecting more to your authentic self. So just a lot of self-love that you're going through you are yeah self-love has been a difficult one we are um making much progress in this recent years any messages from buddha uh you have known buddha in previous incarnations uh but the chana connections yeah you just always knew to trust buddha no matter what happened in the world uh, and your energy will is showing it even now uh, Pamela, any messages for me? I do. Um, of course, there's like tiger lily beings. There are, you know, the Agartha energies, the tree people. Um, we are just, yeah, just removing a lot of old energies of the past and more, yeah, more of just your, yeah, just abundance in some form. It doesn't have just abundance that where you see it what you need. Any messages from Yeshua? Uh, it seems like you are releasing a lot of uh, tension coming from uh, Yeshua. You know, he, Yeshua went through. So you're like a, you've been an angel of Yeshua in your past. You know, protecting him. That should be kind of intense. You probably feel some of that. Amy, in the next five to ten years, when the darkness and lies have been revealed, do you see me being a leader in community, leading and guiding people? Well, I think I can do that now. I'm not sure if the darkness and lies are going to be all revealed. <laughs> because it just come up with new darkness and revealed. I realize this world's been in darkness for thousands of years. It's not going to just lift right away. So I'll just work on it now. <laughs> if you want to be a community leader. Can you tell me about my about another life I'm currently living where I have had shackles on my left wrist. I'm surrounded by fire. Uh yeah, well, yeah, African slave. And yeah, Africa, they're not showing what time period. Well, in some kind of reality there was a um like in the nineteen fifties. That might be your reason a lot of time, but I see it. I'll just tell you, it could be a, another earth, wherever it might be. I just see, um, yeah, you were 1950s slave. Um, uh, 
first round 1950 things got better but not if you, it depends on where you're at <laughs> yeah i think did they make a movie about that um i forget but either way yeah you're still uh, healing from that energy if those feel like you're a female in that lifetime uh donna any messages from armand my spirit guide uh, your your health energy, yeah, you are staying in front of it. As you can see, you're keeping ahead of it. Just continue to do that. Anything you feel strange in your health, just talk, call a doctor. Just to stay, you know, whatever you feel is comfortable. If you feel like you need to call, but just stay ahead of it the best you can. Yeah, definitely bring a new frequency in your energy. Any messages from my cat flake? Cat flake, he is constantly on my, well, yeah, just... He's working on your uh, your root chakra. And he just likes to be there. <laughs> uh, that's part of your healing. Yeah. He's wonder how why your health is staying the way it is, you know, at a leveled energy. That's why. Oh my gosh, Moses of my higher self had any mess advice on what talent I can best develop. I was thinking of trying to learn remote viewing. Uh remote viewing. Definitely. Uh, tarot or Oracle cards, okay. I would say remote viewing would be more fun. Uh, does my higher self see me being successful in my job and as a youth worker in the future? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, do you see around basketball or something like that? Uh, something to do with sports. Uh, but that's up to you. And you can also be like a um, counselor also. Beth, I've been studying Kung Fu the last that's interesting, uh, the last couple months. I've always loved watching the movies. I felt a huge connection with it. Any past lives? Oh, it's funny. Maybe I should start doing that. Probably not. Um, but I feel Jet Li. I'm not sure if you're a big fan of him. Have you ever heard of him? Jet Li, he's, he's a Kung Fu person. Or I don't know what he is. But yeah, Jet Li. Yeah, I feel like you've done... Those realities were, yeah, you're fighting spirit beings. You're, yeah. was it kicking ass and taking names? <laughs> In some reality, uh, it, uh, I feel like it's all China connected too. Well, I feel like you've been a ninja in your past in Japan. Any messages for me? Um, well, you're definitely pulling energies from the Butterfly Collective. I know it's a lot different than being a Kung Fu uh expert uh but yeah you definitely do uh well to go in your kung fu it does feel like you're able to like you know you know uh was the bricks and all that you know to like chop right through it and stuff like that 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 not that you need to do that in this life but you've definitely done it in previous lifetimes those are more male incarnations so doesn't mean you, if you want to do it now it's up to you oh, oh, all the answer you want to go but uh, so I told my mom, <clears throat> why to know what the what guys are working with her? Uh, Arcturian guides and uh, and um, uh, Syrian guys, a whale energy. Um, I don't know, I'll just tell you, I get Bushnell, Bushnell. Yeah, the guy Bushnell. To the female guy. Uh, question two: I got kicked out of my Instagram today, which is where I make money. I'm wondering what the universe wants me to do. What finances? Just do everything you can to get back in there, or concentrate on Facebook. Uh, just do everything you can to get. Uh, Facebook is the only thing I can come. Only thing I'm getting, or anything else alternative to Instagram. Uh, it's possibly might be able to get turned back on. It's hard to say. Or if you're selling stuff, eBay. You know, I'm assuming you're selling. I don't know. You just wherever you can sell. You know, I don't think Twitter will work. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one. I don't know the details of it. Uh, Mia, Mia, uh, would you please ask me, my guide, Eric? If he'll start working with me to connect to spirit, does he have any advice and thoughts he would like me to know connecting to him? Well, just uh, Agartha, the uh, 
uh, elf people energies uh, or fairies. The fairy might help. It's up to you. Or of course, the angel energies definitely uh, meditate. Yeah, it just varies. I feel like the angels are probably the strongest because you are technically a reincarnated fairy. I mean, angel. I guess both. I guess you're an angel fairy, I guess, <laughs> which makes sense. Um, yeah, you definitely work with a lot of colors and astral blue, greens, yellows, of opening up different dimensions. Any messages from you regarding being so unhappy that it has to keep working and can't re retire? Um, well, it has to do with not believing in yourself in your past. Uh, you know, we're all doing things we don't want to do, so. Um, just rest easy the best you can. Just do what you do. Find something. It must be something in your life to make you happy. Find something in your life that makes you happy. There must be something. Um, you know, spirituality can only do so much. Sometimes you need to do something physical. Uh, some people eat chocolate, but I don't think that's what you want to do. It's whatever. But find like people do hobbies or something just to keep them something. People do gardening, keep them going. Miles, uh, got any messages from the Ring of Fire? Yeah, well, that's, I feel like that's around Bermuda, Bermuda Triangle. Well, it feels like you're able to create vortexes. First of all, it's very connected to, to the uh, volcano people. Which you're the only one asked about volcanoes. I feel like you've been a volcano god in your past. <laughs> We've also been worshipped also. I don't know which one, but I don't know if there's a volcano in South America, but yeah, the tribes, you have been worshipped though. And you did talk to people as a volcano. Maybe like you were erupted every once in a while. So like, oh, he's talking to us. <laughs> Any messages from the space dust in our universe? Um, well, I have, uh, was it Kelper, one of the planets? Kelper, I don't have a name for, an exoplanet. Um, yeah, I feel like there's like a world of just kind of, I'll just tell you, freaks, um, kind of like a mutant world. Just a bunch, like strange creature world world that you're connected to so and the space dust is basically like fairy energies of healing you know metallic vibrations healing the soul healing but you come from worlds that are kind of bizarre and uh like there's like a martin wizard king creature there i know that i'm just telling you what's coming through um yeah i, I talk about experimental world well i see you as like uh somebody that would create different types of creatures, but not for a negative purpose, though. Like a hybridization program. Uh, Susie, what I've been doing in Astral? Uh, just releasing a lot of karma from other people, other people's stuff. And of course, you are the lady you're working with, protecting her to not gain any karma for herself, but to just shift the energies so everything's balanced. It's like you're working on a planet, but it's a person. Any messages from me? Um, yeah, I just see a lot of Arcturian energies. Uh, Polaris. Uh, Arcturian energies, basically, because the Arcturians do more of a human incarnation. The Polaris beings don't. They do, but it's more higher dimensional. The Arcturians are the ones that do the physical realities, and that's why you came here to help upgrade the Earth, as you know. And, of course, there's other details. Um, I feel like it has some backlash with feline beings because some of them were a little bit particular or though some of them were a little you know i thought they knew everything <laughs> you showed them <laughs> well meaning that there's alien beings that feel like they know everything they're protecting the earth but they can't always handle an earth incarnation uh don please let me know more about et experiences from where i, I was four and five years old uh let's see um Zeta connections. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily negative, but this, yeah, hybridization connections. Um, 
Uh, you definitely been. A, you also been to Pluto. <laughs> So, yeah, you go to worlds that not many people go to. So, yeah, you go in and out of your body between five and four and five. I would also see six, but there's also Palladian energies there. So, I wouldn't say it's been malicious. It's just been a lot of activity around you. I also feel the Yeah Yell. I'm not sure if you're familiar with them. You visited them too. So, I'm not saying what you did exactly, but uh, can you tell me more about the connections with my dog? You know, I've had visions of me being a little elf riding on his back. That's fine. He flies in the sky. He's a white Papino, long, beautiful fur. Um, that's funny. It's like the never ending story with him. You know, the movie. So, yeah, he's been like a soulmate. Um, as you can tell, it's just been a. Um, He's also healed black magic. You've also been a, a witch in your past. He's been a dog with you, clearing out the energies um, of, of a good witch, but still a witch. I definitely, yeah, like you would appear and he would appear next to you. Uh, definitely, he's been also a male, like a supermodel in his past. Also a king, and you've been his queen. So you definitely have a lot. Of, it's funny, I take a lot of time as a dog, though. Right now, you're just having fun. He's all the seriousness is gone. Now he's having fun. Miguel, any messages from my cat? He seems to be a little sad. I think it just has what you're going through. Um, uncertainty of the future. Also, you have kids. I believe it has most to do with the kids, actually. Just seeing clear that energy. Any messages about house hunting? I feel like the next few weeks, but it's not completely clear on that. Maybe the next couple of weeks. Yeah, next month was better. I don't know why June is coming through. I don't think you're going to wait that long. But something about June in your energy field. So, if it's in by June, ouch. Well, you know, as long as you find the right place. <laughs> Malish, uh, do I have any Pegasus? Spirit guides by the name of Daisy Diana and Andromedan spirit guide by the name of that will, uh, yeah. I, yes, I believe so. Um, both of them, um, I think the name of Daisy fits the best. Diane is more of a human name for the Pegasus. And Pegasus. Some reason why I connected to it. Completely. I thought, I don't know why I had to, I have to look at it for some reason. So, yes, yeah, it definitely been through a lot of battles. Uh, so, the Pegasus comes, it's one of your connections with the Pegasus is Orion. It's about surviving, you know. Like you see in an animated cartoon, you know, fights and stuff like that. You'd be on your flying horse, flying through all of that. So it's just safety. <laughs> Reliable safety. Man, you've been through some adventures for sure. So any messages from the angels? Uh, just trusting yourself overall. Um, I do. Yeah, I feel like a goblin being you've dealt with in your past. That you're healing like a trickster being in your past um uh, is a, a garth of lifetime i think he's trying to trick you to marry him yeah it's kind of like a being that's kind of like a beetle just type of being trying to manipulate your energy that's in the past but just to let you know if you need to clear anything clear any goblins around you <laughs> with the angels it might sound weird but i mean lord of the rings has goblins all through the thing <laughs> So you just don't hear about it very often. And it's funny when you do a re I heard about somebody had a reading and this, somebody had told him that he was a, a goblin. He didn't like that. <laughs> so he had a lot of health problems too. So it's probably definitely a goblin energy there. Uh, Jess, I've been pretty intense magic mushroom experience this past Saturday. What inside does my mess about what's happening? Energetic. Well, I wouldn't recommend doing that a lot, but. It feels like it's helping you relax a lot and helping you connect with others. So I think part of it has to do with you just connecting with others. That's really important. 
Uh, what energy uh, was with my roommate right before my experience felt like the war astral coming in trying their best. Uh, well, yeah. Well, yeah, because he's easy to manipulate. So, so you say the magic mushroom help you see things a little bit more clearly. At least what I'm gathering. So it doesn't mean you have to take it all the time, but. I'll Yeah, but it feels like you're getting more intuition of what he doesn't want you to see. Yeah, I would clear out any shadow beings for sure around them. Vasco, what beings have been around me lately? Messages. Um, I did feel our like Arturian energies. I don't know if things have gotten a little bit better at all. Um, hopefully. I feel like you're clearing a lot of... Uh, you definitely have Antarctica connections. Well, I see you as like a in a lifetime as a Illuminati being in Antarctica on some version of Earth, or you're just keeping an eye on Illuminati. It feels like you have been one. It doesn't mean it's bad. It can be a good one. Um, you definitely have some connection there, for sure. Any messages from higher self? Uh, Syrian energies, ocean aquatic realities are coming through just to heal. What you've been through, of course, your um, girlfriend <clears throat> has also been your daughter in another lifetime. You probably feel some of that. And that's what makes it more dynamic. She doesn't always listen to you and things like that. You know, she, I know it's, it's, it's weird, but some things need to come out for a reason. So, anyway, okay. All right, everyone. All right, thank you for posting your questions. All right, we'll be back tomorrow. All right, blessings.